Vermont's Tech School. We are here in Collier and Thompson's demonstration kitchen where Chef Cassie Byers takes us through uh, techniques that normally you find in restaurant kitchens, but she's actually going to deconstruct everything and show you exactly how to make foam mm -hmm. this month in your home kitchen. Now, this is the kind of thing that you go to a high-end restaurant and they are like, this dish with this, 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 and then a such-and-so foam on top, and you think that it has to be the most incredibly totally complicated. difficult, complicated thing in the world. Um, the way we're actually even going to do it today is more complicated than how they do it in the restaurants. The restaurants, they just whip it up, and that's that. Well, and I think if you've never had a foam sauce before, the reason why um, restaurants do this is, number one, it looks cool. But it's also very light, so you can, you can add flavor to a dish without necessarily putting something like a big butter sauce or something like that on top that will change a lot of the texture. It doesn't change the texture, it doesn't change the weight of the dish, it doesn't change the dish at all other than just adding a bright pop of flavor at the top. We're going to focus on liquid-based foams. Mm -hmm. um, so we're starting with water for each of these. Okay. Um, and we're going to infuse the water with three different components. We have cinnamon, green tea, and what you'll read this month in Feast, cilantro. All right, so we're going to take some chopped cilantro and we're going to drop it in one cup boiling water. As always, I try to keep ratios very simple. Mm -hmm. And so we're going one cup water, one tablespoon gelatin. Okay. Very easy, easy. and simple. Okay. Um, so we're just going to let that come to a boil and then we're going to puree it. While we're waiting for that to extract all the flavor, we're going to go ahead and bloom our gelatin. Okay. First technical term of the like day. Like a flower. Like a flower. I've got, since we're doing three foams, I've just got three measuring cups here. Okay. And tablespoon gelatin each, and sure enough, one packet of gelatin is one tablespoon. And then to bloom your gelatin, you just need a little bit of cold water. So you just pour a little bit of water in there. It's okay that it's not all covered in water. And then with our handy dandy immersion blender, we're just going to puree it a little bit. Things. I know, it's my favorite tool in the kitchen. <laughs> if you have a blender and you want to stick it in there, that's fine. We're not looking for a really smooth puree process. Uh, we really just want to break up the cilantro to get more flavor out of it. All right, now we're just going to strain this through just into a little bowl. You want to hold my funnel for me? Now what you do is you have your hot liquid. All of these liquids are warm at least. You pour those into your bloom gelatin. Okay, that's easy. It's easy enough. Perfect. You let it sit for a minute, just long enough for that hot water to melt the gelatin. And okay. You'll see if you look in the bottom, clear containers are fantastic for this. You can see it starts to melt. So how do you know when it's ready? As soon as you see that all the gelatin's pretty much melted out, if you need to take a spoon to it real quick just to break it up a little bit, that's fine. Try not to stir too much. All right, so just with your immersion blender. So you've, you've phoned all of these. You've, you've put them through. How do you know at, at home, how do you know when you're done? This middle layer, once you see that, I mean, initially it was like a brown liquid. Right. It completely changed color into like this tan, creamy consistency. And you can see as it slowly separates out with the brown liquid, the creamy consistency, and the foam. And all that creamy consistency is going to keep rising to the top and turn into the foam. It's like beer. It's just like beer. <laughs> Do you know what that stuff on the top of a beer is? Foam. It's foam. <laughs> so, I mean, what you do is you just take this part out. That's yep. the foam. I'm That's the foam. Mm -hmm. mm. Awesome. Well, I think it's going to be a foamy summer for pretty much everybody then. Yay. Thank you, Cassie. You're welcome. <laughs>